Ooh, 4100 plus audio system. Uh, it looks like there's been plenty of plenty of hands in this one. I wonder what's going on here. Yeah, when you walk into a service call because you, 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 your ticket says trouble on panel. Uh, I wonder what we got going on here. We got a bunch of open circuit troubles. They say they're working on the elevators. Okay, so we'll have to look into that. And there's some speaker socket, elevator cab. Then we got a water flow, a tamper switch. Oh yeah, trouble's on panel. <laughs> and the smoke detector in the elevator lobby. That might be the elevator. And then we got car 54 power supply monitor. Car 54 in this system here, as somebody is saying right there, is normally car two, but today, I guess in this panel, for some reason, it's going to be 54, okay? But you see, there's no yellow light on a power supply. It says car 54 power supply monitor. So that means that we're monitoring other power supplies in, in, the, uh, in the panel here, okay? Um, and if I look at some of these other power supplies, uh, we got a power supply here. Oh, uh, look at that. Piggyback fuse. They got door holders on there. I bet you. I bet you they put too many door holders in there and blew that. Or they constantly blow that. So we just solder one of them on there and away we go. You notice the lights lit dim. So that's probably a normal power supply. What we got down here? Ah, another power supply. More door holders. Oh, look at this ray. Oh man, this is this is real original. I ain't gonna touch that shit. Okay. Yeah, you know, technically if you blow one of these fuses, you're supposed to replace the board because it's a solder and fuse. And if you solder a new one in, you're you're violating the UL listing on the board. It's a dim yellow light. If it's bright, something's wrong. A fuse is blown or it's missing batteries or something of that nature. Okay, so what else we got going on here? You know, we got a we had all them troubles, and we had that power supply monitor, but we also uh, pre axed another panel trouble. Car 13 audio amplifier channel 1. Okay, so them two kind of go hand in hand. And a card 48 battery charge capacity. Uh, oh, look, card 48 supply on 7th floor. That's good they wrote that there because if you hit for more information, you can see that the guy. Never bothered to take the time to program seven floor transponder in there where he should have. He just puts unit three, so we're left in the dark. So I'm glad somebody wrote that there. Now, like I said, this is an older hardwire 4100 plus. You can see like all these zone cards and all the zone wires. It's a lot of crap. So we have a audio trouble too. So I'll go through these comments here. This light, that, that looks pretty dim, you know. And this amplifier, it feels warm, but it's it's yellow lights lit. It's, so there's something wrong. Something's wrong. Look, the yellow light's really lit on this one. Okay, that's kind of warm. That's a dim yellow light, so that seems to be okay. You know, and like I said, I'm just doing a visual right now. I'm just visually checking all of this out here. Uh, there's another power supply, uh, dimly lit yellow light. There's a battery charger, and that light shouldn't be lit at all, and that is correct. So that must be powering these two batteries right down here. So, yeah, I don't see any problems there at this point. Um, getting over here, we got some more amplifiers. Uh, here's a, that one looks dim, it's not real bright. Um, and this one here, that one's lit up. So all my amplifiers are lit up. This amplifier right here is lit up. That one's cold as ice. Yeah, that's lit dim. So interesting, 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 interesting. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? All right, let's start. I'm going to go on the AC scale here. And I'm just going to, it looks like it's a single channel audio. When I purchase audio, uh, problem is I want to, I guess, first thing, verify that we have 
500 millivolts coming out of channel one. And I can measure that right here if I carefully get my leads in the back side of this. And we are reading 551.6. That's a little bit high. We want it to be at 500. So let's, let's get a screwdriver tweaker screwdriver okay and we got some pots right there that one is out that one is gain out one that one is number two and then we have another one for our speaker and our fire phone but we're really concerned about one right now so let's see if we can Get them leaves back in there. And, uh, get my area. Got my reading. And let's see if we can adjust this pot a little bit. Here. All my hands are in the same spot at once. I'm holding the meter leads and whoa, look at that. And we can drastic change. Don't have to do very much at all. Come on, just a little, whoa, 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 whoa. What more, a little higher, a little higher. Come on, a little more. Okay, I think my screw slipped out of this lot. There we go. Yeah, I tell you, you just touch this thing and it goes all over the place. Uh, we're gonna leave it right there. We ain't, we ain't messing with it no more. All right, so now we got, we got the good output. We got the good output going on, so. Let's see, let's go to uh, like the first amplifier uh, in the system, which is over here. Um, and it has a light lit on it. I'm just wondering why that amplifier has a light. I guess one of the first things I want to do is check the DC voltage coming out, going to the amplifier. Make sure we have it. Make sure it is present. We can pick it up right here. And we got it. Okay, so back to the AC scale. And once again, I'm going to go on. It's as easy to get to the, the green and white wires. And you see, I'm getting 17 volts. Uh, we're really looking for 25. And this little potentiometer pot right here. If I start turning that backwards, I can bring it up. Can you see that? I hope, I hope so. We're going to bring that up to 25, right where it's supposed to be. Close enough. Hey, my little light went out. Look at that. Yeah. My light went out on the one down here, too. The light's still lit here, and that light is out. So let's go, now that we got that one cooking, all right, looks like these things are, this whole thing was out of whack here, so let's go to the next one. Let's see what this one's doing. That's at 2233, so we're going to just kind of tune that up a little bit. Bring that up, bring it up. You got to turn the pot down. That pot, you gotta turn that down to make it go up. Oh, too far. Come on, back, 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 back. See how close we can get it. See, that thing just jumps all over the place. Come on. Yeah. We're gonna leave it right there. Woo! All right. That was looking pretty good. All right, let's move on to the next one. Move on to the next one. This one's got a yellow light. Um, once again, I just want to make sure that my I'm getting a good output. Oh, what 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 is, what is this? What the hell is this? Somebody snuck some wires out of here. Right off an audio amplifier. That's a no-no. These power supplies are for 
The amplifiers only. You can't sneak voltage off of that for something else. And you, we're just asking for trouble. This this system here is asking for trouble. All right, we got our voltage here. So let's get back up here and check out check our output. 15, incredibly low. I wonder why, why are these things incredibly low? Yeah. I mean, this is an old system. It's been here for a long time. So it could definitely use a little tune-up. Okay. And one thing, one thing I'm having a hell of a time with is trying to see, trying to see this little screw. Let, let's not fight it. Let's not fight it. Okay. Let's grab the light. A little light on there so we can see where to put our little screwdriver so we can turn the injustice now that we have that oh, I need like three hands you know what I'm saying there we go we got that and we got it okay let's bring it 15 16 22 25, 26, bring it back. Come on, a little bit. Perfect. We're going to leave it right there. But the light is still lit on this amplifier for some reason. Okay. Not really sure why this light is still lit. The light is out on this one here. Yeah, let's go down. Let's get this one. Let's finish adjusting all these things. Getting them all getting them all the way they're supposed to be. I don't know if I can put this headlight on my head with the camera on my head at the same time. That's that's gotta be like a real trick. Yeah, look at that. I got freaking talent man. Alright. Let's grab these leads. I'm sure this camera's going all over the place. Okay. That's the only way I can see get my screw in that little slot there. 3.8 volts. All right, six. Uh-oh. Screwdriver slipped. Ah. There we go. 23. 24. Coming up. 25. This thing's just all over the, all over the chart. We're gonna leave it right there. All right, that amplifier is clear. And it looks like we have. Oh, we got another one down here. Look at that. We got one more amplifier down here. All right, let's get down to this one. This one's got a light. Nope, that one. The light's not lit on that, so we're good here. Okay, we're getting good at this now. Get my screw where it's supposed to be. And then get my meter leads in there. This is where I need three hands. All the time. This is I, I never got that. Why do you put these? Ah, this kills me. Come on, I gotta get both of them in there. Why am I at millivolts? This guy is cold as hell. Hold on for a second. Let's check the voltage coming out of here. Oh, wait a minute. We ain't got no voltage. Ah, uh, no voltage. Let's check this fuse here. Yeah, look at that. Yep. Blown fuse. All right. So we need to get another fuse in here. I believe it's an 8 amp fuse. Double check. Yeah, they could put anything in there. It's an 8 amp fuse. Um, I got a feeling as soon as I plug it in, as soon as I plug it in, it's going to go, it's going to blow right away. Let's see if I got one. If 
I don't have one, we're going to the truck. We're going to go to the truck and get one. Let's see what we got here. These are like six and a quarter. They're for the, uh, the old 2001 amplifier, I believe. Let's, let's take a look and see what we got here. All right, these are all my fuses I just kind of carry around. Oops. All right, we'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna bore you by checking fuse sizes. Uh, so as soon as I get the right fuse, we'll continue. I got some, got some fuses from the truck. These are the eight amp fuses we we're looking for. quick acting 8 amp fuse. I got a couple of them. Because like I said, you have a seat here. When I go and plug this fuse in, I just got this feeling it's gonna blow right away. And usually that's because these amplifiers are it's going bad. Like this guy, it's just cold as ice. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this guy, I'm gonna turn it down real low. Okay, let's give it a couple turns. That way, it don't do anything. And we're going to install the fuse. In it. It, this is really scary for me. I, I I hate doing this. So we're going we're going to take the butt end of our screwdriver and we're going to bang that son of a bitch in there. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Don't look. Oh, look at that shit. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Power supply monitor trouble. Yeah, it blew that son of a bitch right out of there, didn't it? Yep. Yeah, that means one thing, buddy. One thing. One thing. That means we're going to. Pull these wires out. All right. These are the power wires that provide the 24 volts to the amplifier. Okay. All right, we're gonna pop another one in there with confidence that nothing's gonna happen. And I have my 29 volts back with that the amplifier hooked up. Okay, so it looks like we get to do an amplifier replacement today. Whoopee, we're down to eight troubles now. Look at that. What about that one amplifier? There was one amplifier that had the yellow light lit on it, even though we adjusted it. I remember seeing it. But guess what? It's Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's over here. Huh? Yeah, this one here. This one's got a yellow light. It's yellow light is lit. I, I don't understand. I don't get it. It's it's putting out good voltage. It's warm. It feel, everything feels right about it. And also, if I scroll through my troubles, I 
I do not have an audio trouble whatsoever. It's saying it's as amplifier as normal, but it's light is lit. Uh, something's not right. You know, it's, it's like it's out of whack or something. Uh, um, I, don't, I think I'm going to power this. I'm going to power that amplifier down for a second and bring it back up and see if it clears. But um, whatever that, whoever tied, whatever in there, you're going to lose it too, buddy. I don't know what your problem is. I don't know who did that, but yeah, you're going to lose that. Okay, that's a good power supply. Monitor trouble. Uh-oh, look, I'm getting, ah, now we know. Now we know probably what them wires go to. LED switch controller. Missing fail, car 43. Interesting, huh? Yeah. That must be going to a remote enunciator somewhere. Somebody snuck that in there on us. That's 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 what that would have to be. All right, let's power this sucker back up. Ready? Ah, I hate doing this. It's, you'll hear the you'll hear the amplifier kick in. Ready? Listen, listen. You hear that? Man, this needs to stabilize a little bit. She's making some noise. Let's just double check the. Uh, let's just double check the output. Oh, I got trouble going on here. No, it's clear. No, still having a little bit of clear. Okay. I don't have an audio trouble, oh, but that amplifier is completely out. Yeah. Something telling me somebody may have been messing with some jumpers here and there. Okay, we're at 25. All right, so the light's out. Let's keep an eye on that. That seems to be normal, but this guy here, we're going to have to, we're going to have to replace that. We're, it's, that's just got to, that's just got to happen. So what are we, what do we need to replace it? This is an old panel. This is old because we have regular, regular slotted screws in here, not the Torx head. So this is a really old generation, uh, old generation uh, 4100 audio. So I guess um, let's grab some tools. And we just, for some reason, when I got the fuse, yeah, I, I figured I'd grab an amplifier out of the truck. You know, something, I don't know why, something just told me to grab an amplifier from the truck. So we just happen to have an amplifier. Imagine that. Just happen to have an amplifier. If you know, if you know the stuff in your area that you work on all the time, you should be able to have a good idea what you need to put in your truck. You know, even though they uh, they don't want you to have anything in your truck, you know, there's there's ways around that. But I guess one thing I like to do when I replace an amplifier. is I like to remove these doors. It makes it so much easier to, to access what I'm working on. Yeah, because I got my wires down here to the amplifier, which are, you know, and this panel isn't a pretty panel anymore either. It's just everybody and his brother, sister and mother has been inside this panel. Uh, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is take a Sharpie Okay, and the lighting is not the best in here, as you can see. Okay, and what do they got going on here? They they get a backup. This is a backup amplifier. They got one wire going out to it. Where's my backup return? We're not doing a backup return. Are you shitting me? That's got one. For the backup, yeah, that one goes in and out, and that's the end. Okay. No, I don't think this. I don't think that's the backup. Something else is the backup. Who's the backup? 
I could tear this thing apart. I mean, this. Yeah, the more I look at this thing, yeah, it's like, what are you guys doing here? Yeah. I could find all kinds of shit wrong in here. I'm not going to be concerned about that right now. We're replacing the amplifier. I'll, we'll come back and we'll come back and figure all that out. Let's pull up a chair. Let's get comfortable here. Yeah, let's mark out. Some, let's mark some of these wires. Yeah, so we know where they go back. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that one is in. You know, so I, I could put an I on there. Okay. And I'll put an O on there, and that one, because that one's the out. Okay. And I pretty much know what these guys are doing. Okay. I'm not going to mark these at all, because I know where they go. See? That's, that's my loop going through the single cars. Let's just get that stuff out of the way. Get the stuff out of the way. Now, that's here. I'm going to put a B on it. Okay. That stands for backup. Okay. Oh, I think I hear my panel squealing at me. It's yelling at me. All right. And uh, these guys here, I'm just going to put a a little a little mark on each one of them. Okay, that means that these are the the audio input. That's my 500 millivolt signal going into there. Okay. All right, so we can yank them off of there. Get all this stuff. Just get it out of the way. Out of the way. Right. Go somewhere where you won't bother me for a little while. Okay. Because this thing, yeah, this is. Uh, this is little the stuff is heavy when it comes out. So, all right, let's go acknowledge the panel. Okay. Okay. All right, and like I said, we have good old fashioned screws, man. So let's get to it. We're going to pull this son of a bitch out. Now I have an old tool. It always comes in handy. Okay. Looks like there's about six screws on this one. Get this out. And I got this old tool here that I use that holds on to the screws for me. That worked like a champ. Did you see that screw drop right down. So now I gotta hunt for that. All right. Don't you love it? All right. Now we gotta get down real low to get to the screw here. Cause this one's underneath of all that shit. And we're doing all this hot too. Did you notice that? I mean, well, we got the voltage off of it and everything. There you want that one. Dropped another one. We're not doing very good today. Right, let's try for this one here. There we go. 
Got that one. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, I think we got one screw holding this whole thing. So let's make sure we're all clear. I'm going to lift up a little bit, take the weight off of that. Okay. And we're going to get in there and get that last last screw out. I'll probably lose it. I'll probably lose that screw. Let's see it now. Just grab it with your hand. Okay, the whole thing's out. It's loose. All right, we're going to pull it straight out carefully and get it over here. Um, here's a good place to work on it. I'll just sit it right here. All right. Now, let's see what we can do here. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, we're gonna break the seal. Break us out a new amplifier. Oh, look at that, a brand new one. Look at that, blue board, man. Yeah, we got a blue board. They actually make, you can tell they're still making these things. They're not refurbishing, they still make them. Okay, so. One thing, one thing I'm gonna tell you right off the bat. Let's, let's remove these wires off of here first. Okay, we gotta remember that. White, green, brown, black, okay. Y'all keep that in the back of your head. White, green, brown, black. If I forget, what can I do? Just go look at one that's already in there. Okay, white, green, brown, black. So we're not going to think too much on that. Let's get that out of the way. Okay. Now, here's the most important thing of the day. If I didn't teach you anything today, I'm going to teach you something now. These little screws right here. Okay. Let me get my screw extractor tool. This is like an old simplex time clock tool. But I've used it. Okay, so I'm going to take out this first screw. All right, one thing I want to point out that's a short screw. Taking all them other screws out, they're a little bit longer. So if you accidentally put one of them in there, when you put this thing up and fire your panel back up, you're going to have a ground fault. And you're not going to know why. I didn't have a ground fault before. That's a short screw. Them screws are a little longer. They'll poke through that, poke through there, and they'll go right on through there, and they'll hit the back of that circuit board. Okay, and uh, they touch on to something back there. I think it's, it's this one right here. Touches on the ground of that transistor and ground fault. There you go. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. We need to look at these guys. We need to look at them real close. Okay, these jumpers are in. Those are the same jumpers. Okay, this jumper here. It's an up, that's an up. I think there's about four jumpers. Okay, that one's down, down, that one's down, down, that one's up, and that one's up. <coughs> okay. What I want to look at up here is they removed R4, and they removed R11. <coughs> And they removed C5. They're all in there. If you if you're inputting 500 millivolts into your amplifier, you want to remove these. Okay. If you have a riser amplifier and you're running 24 volts up to the input 
of one of your amplifiers on another floor, okay, you want to leave these in. Let's get our tool and pop them out. C5, which is this one here. Now, the factory takes them all the way out, but what we do is we just cut one side. Just in case we need to remodify it or put it in another place or, yeah, I don't know. It's just what we do. Okay, now we got R11, which is the first one right there. I'm sorry, that's R10. R11 is that one. Okay. Take our first one out there. Then we skip one and then we do an R4. Okay. We got them three out. We're good to go. I just want to go through. Somebody may have cut something else. I think there was a jumper. Sometimes you cut out for uh, if it's a. a um, how you want this to act during a power outage. See, JW1. See, JW1 was cut out of this one. So we need to get rid of JW1 there. Okay. Anything else? I believe, I believe that's it. I believe we're looking good. Okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. So once again, make sure I use a short screw. It's very important. Very, very important. If you put the wrong screw in there, you'll be scratching your head for hours. Where the hell's that ground fault coming from? One there when I took it out, and you'll learn, like I did, I spent hours, yeah, so I did the hard stuff for you already, all you gotta do is listen to me, and don't argue, what were the colors? White, green, brown, black, right? See, I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking ahead right now. So. Oh, look at what, look. All oh, right, look at this Nimrod did in the factory. Yeah, he put the whole connector on bass backwards. Fuckhead. That's just, that's just fucking quality control for you. Yeah. Look. There's the one on the board, and there's the four there, okay? There's the one there, there's the one there, like it's supposed to be, okay? It says primary and secondary, primary and secondary. They put the whole fucking connector on backwards. Fucking Nimrod. Okay. So what was it? It was white, green, brown, and black, right? Let's look at another one, just to make sure. That's what I like to do. White, green, brown, and black. Okay. I'm not going to fuck that one up. Guess they figured it's better this way. It's not. Fuckhead. I think we'll get over it. So back in the old day, that shit wouldn't happen. As far as all the rest of it goes, no comment. Okay. Sure, them connections are good. 
you're working on a fire alarm system, you know. Somebody's life is depending on that connection you made today. You know what I'm saying? That's how serious this job is. Okay. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Let's grab this, as they say, up in Gardner. Gardner. Highness. Let's get this Highness off of here and get it put on there because if you forget to do that and you have that thing all the way in the panel there, then you're either going to take it out or you're going to play hell getting this Highness put in. Okay, zero volt. I want no stragglers coming out. Okay. I want good connections. Okay. And then the positive 24 volts. And you call that yellow wire the battery switch. Okay. So what happens there is if we lose power and we're running on batteries, that sends a signal to the amplifier to turn off. Because the amplifier is running all the time. It sends a signal to the amplifier to turn off so we can conserve battery power until we need it. You know, once the panel goes into alarm, then a signal will be sent to the amplifier to turn back on. But if it's if we're in a power saving mode because of a power outage, then we want to shut it down. Okay, so now we got all our connections in there. Everything's nice and tight. All of our jumpers are set like they're supposed to be. All of our all of our capacitors and resistors are supposed to be cut or cut. Okay, so everything's looking good here. Uh, one thing I'm going to do one more time is I'm going, I don't know where they set this thing at, but I'm going to turn that down. You can turn it down for forever if you want. I'm going to turn it down. That way when I power this up, then I'll bring it up slowly to my voltage because if it's set for the other, the 25 volts or so, it might, it might overload right off the bat. So we don't know. All right. Time to put this. I'll be back in there. Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, get yourself in because this. Let's get our screw set up. Get, it. get our little screw thing there. Make sure it's in there good because. We're going to hold this and get that first screw started. Make sure we don't hit anything. Now we've got stuff that's hot on the right, stuff that's hot on the left. All right, so this son of a bitch has got to go straight. Now this guy goes straight in there, buddy. If it goes to the right or left, it could touch something, and we can see some sparks fly. We don't want to be called sparky. Nobody likes to be called sparky. All right, look at that shit. Uh-oh. Uh, let's not talk and talk too early. There we go. We got we got one in there. Let's get another one. Oh, uh, that's right. We lost a couple behind them batteries. We gotta go, we gotta go fishing. We gotta go fishing for screws. Alright, let's get this one started. Sounds like they could use a little lubrication, huh? And the one with the washer because that ties in two bores power supply next to it and that so be very careful with that one and there we go I'll tighten anything up until the very end now I learned that when I just assemble stuff all right there's one screw there's the other screw. Make sure we get that lock washer. Yeah, you want these things locked in for that heavy duty building vibration. They keep because we don't want them screws backing out when that building starts vibrating. I'm just kidding, just kidding. I don't know why they put lock washers on everything. It's not like this thing's a Harley Davidson. Yeah, it's not gonna vibrate like one or anything like that. All right, now we're working in the dark. 
Well, we got that one. Now we got to get to this bottom screw. Yeah. We're getting into the bottom screw here. Look at that. We got it. All right. Now that all the screws are in. We'll go around the screwdriver. Tighten them up. Okay. Our hard part's done. Now we get to the now we get to the fun part. Yeah. We get to the fun part. What happened to the protective cover on there? Uh, like I said, too many people have been in this. And it's an old system. Yeah, it's it's really is time for an upgrade. Yeah, as far as I as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so I guess the next thing I'm going to do is I, I'm going to I'm going to pull that out, okay? And I get a trouble. What do you think my trouble? It says power supply monitor. Power supply monitor. That's because our Gold Wing power supply is monitoring all of our other power supplies. And if something goes wrong with one of them power supplies, the big power supply lets us know about it because something's got to let us know. Right, right, okay. All right, this guy goes in. Let's get that behind all this. We got a little yellow wire for them batteries. That's fucking crap. I, I bet you, I bet you some other fire alarm company's been in here. Uh, I can almost guarantee it. Yeah, because we don't do that shit. Let's get that wire in there. I don't want no, I don't want no strands popping out. I don't like that. Okay, we want to make sure all them strands go in there. I'm all about a good connection, man. I'm all about good connection. Yeah. Okay. You see, these are just sloppy old. Not that bad. I'm not going to redo them, but I. Sometimes I think it might not be a bad idea. Yeah, and the black, there's our common. We don't have any power on here because I pulled the fuse out. So I can hook this thing all the way back up. And wiggle it a little bit, let everything settle in there. Yeah, see this red wire, it's got a lot of shit to it. All right, let's get that sucker. I don't have to worry about any anything short now on me or the loaded amplifier when I'm hooking that wire up. It's, I'm just gonna have to slam that fuse back in like I did the last time. And you know how I hate that. Yeah. Alright, now now we'll go for the reconnect. Uh, this is an input. It can go in either one. There was another input around here somewhere. This was the B. That was a backup. Okay, that goes on either side of this. That's really not that important. <coughs> there's, the, there's our other input. Okay, we can get that on there. Okay. There's our speakers. In and out, out and in. I could care less. <coughs> but this is a little important here. This is the in, and which one was our in? That's the out. So this is the in. That's kind of hard to see. You got that little, uh, you get that little color on there. You have to make sure it lines up with the one on there. This is really hard to see. This is we're really in the dark here. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's that, and we have another ribbon around here somewhere. Here it is, and that's my out. And we gotta get that on there. All right. Now I'm gonna get my light. I'm gonna get my light shining in there because something don't seem quite right. Pull that out so I can see what the hell, what the hell's going on. Okay, see, I only have that right. You gotta get that all the way in there. All right. Blue ribbon, 
Is that the one? Where's the one? One and two down there. Okay, that's correct. And how are we doing here? That's correct there. Okay, looking a little bit better. All right, where's this at? I right, plug this back in. These guys are so close. Uh, did somebody? That manufacturing again. All right. All right. So everything looks good. Let's double check. We got our ins. We got our backup. Okay. We got our thing in and our out. Okay. And our wires are all connected up. Everything is looking good. I think all we have to do is slam that fuse in there and make an adjustment. So, uh, y'all ready? <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, bam. See that little spark? But it, it's holding. It's holding good. Yes, it is. All right. Let's, let's put that on the AC scale and get this meter to where it's in a good place that I can see it. Okay. I'm going to go on my green and white wire. Ooh, I'm at 30 volts already. Jeez, I need to bring it down. And I did bring it down a lot. 27, that's really close. See, sometimes you're going to have to turn it. It won't be nothing. And you'll have to turn it like a million times before, and all of a sudden it will jump up. It will go right in range on you. Look, this brand new amplifier, I can, it's a little more stable than my older ones. I can zero in on this thing a little better. Yeah, but I'm gonna leave her right about there. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. The lights out. Everything's clear. I think I think we've uh, got a good adjustment on our audio for this system here today. We're down to eight troubles. Okay, and these are open circuit troubles that for phone circuits and elevator cabs. It's something else I have to look at today because they, they remodel on the elevators and the guys are the elevator contractors ripping out the fire alarm stuff and not putting it back. I got a tamper switch I got to look at and I got a smoke detector and okay. But all the audio troubles are gone. So I think this audio for this system is all tuned up and I think that wraps things up for today. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next video. Whoop.